What's up guys? Welcome to Rob Squad Reactions. You picked a special date. Tune into the channel if you're new here because it's Female Friday and you are here with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay and we love Fridays. Like mom said, it's Female Friday. It's also Film Friday on Rob Squad Movie Reactions. Make sure you check that channel out as well. But if you are new here, hey, on this day, I never know what we have going on. You guys send all the suggestions to mom or she picks them out of the comments and gets them all pulled up. I have no idea. I'm in the other room. I come in here and just kick back and listen to some amazing music right along with you guys. But if you are new, here's a couple things we ask y'all to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notification bell because you don't want to miss a single Female Friday because you guys always suggest amazing artists, which we are getting a new one today. I was just about to ask for you a hint. You are going to ask for a hint. I know you are going to ask for a hint. Okay. Hit. So this is an artist from the 1960s. You guys want us to listen to some Ooh. rhythm and blues with Miss Fontella Bass, and the song is... Rescue me. Some rhythm and blues. I am in for it. Rhythm already. and blues from the '60s. I was about to say that we're going something. to the '60s. Yeah. <laughs> we are going back. Let's go ahead and check it out. The way it works for you newbies here, y'all send suggestions, email, comments, uh, social medias. We give the people what they want. Rescue me by Fontella Bass. '65. Let's get it. Is that rhythm? It's gonna have some bass in it. <laughs> I'm all in. Yeah. I am all in. Straight from the beginning, that the, the bass, and then again, like you said, it, it has it has that that bluesy kind of even the soulness to it. Yeah. I like it. I like the sounds. I like the horns in it, and just the way that she's delivery, like it, it makes you want to get up. And well, dance from and the clap. moment it started, we were dancing. There was something about it before she even started singing. There's something about it that just came like, okay, like I like this, and then I like her voice because. I feel like it's it's a sweet voice, but she sings in such a strong way. So it's a, a really cool combination. And then nobody did horns like the '60s did. The horns. I was about to mention it's like the it's the classic sound of and it it's all. The deep, horns, right? Everything. It's deep. Like they didn't hold back at all with the horns. That's something that was completely lost in our generation. So I'm I'm always just astounded by it and I love it when we get to listen to it in music and like bring back horns in music. I'm digging bring this it back. pick. Fontella Bass. I am rocking with you and whoever your your background band For is. For sure. Let's get back. Can't you see that 
even like just her humming right there uh-huh. at the end just had, had some flavor had some soul yeah. to it yeah and then at the end also first of all we know the bass guard guitar was amazing because that's what kind of got us oh, grooving yeah. at the beginning and just the sound of that like it, it had so much depth yes to it. and then they put like a light little bit of a hand drum that I didn't notice until the end of the song but when it came and I was like that's a nice touch there were so many just like nice touches here and there that made the song really mm-hmm. great and now that you mentioned I wonder like was that a big because we're going to 65 was that a bass guitar, like a like a, a, a hold one? I don't know. I don't know how to distinguish between. You're them. trying to say like handheld or like the one that. Or, or the one that stands up exactly. There you go. I, and I don't, I don't know. I guess a, just a stand up bass. But sometimes I feel like the stand up one has a little bit more depth to it. So I'm wondering in this one if that's what they had. And I liked it too because I thought it was funny. Where she was basically telling like, "I want you to be my man." She said. I want you to hold my man, can't you tell? Hold my hand, can't you tell? I want you to be my man. Come on and rescue me. She said, I'm lonely, baby. Come on over and help me out. I like it because it, it just seemed like it was like, they had the classic sound. But it, it did. And she had some spunk to it. You know, when she said that, come rescue me, she went down, you know, got some depth in her voice. It had a little bit of growl but to it. But still so sweet, right? Overall, I like it. What was her name again? I already forgot um, Fontella Bass. Is Fontella what it was a cool Bass. name, too. Bass. And then we out. always mention one of our favorite parts. I, I, feel, I feel like you get it in the 60s more than any thing that cosign moment where she sings and then the backing moment the backing vocals come in and sing the same thing and she gives a little bit more oof and then they come in that was also a special moment see like little special moments throughout the whole song that kept me moving kept you grooving and we're still sitting here talking about it afterwards it was good Fontella Bass we're gonna check out some more guys as always drop down below let us know what song by her we should check out next or from the 60s or yeah or from the 60s 60s in general because I really really liked that one some more blues some jazziness But as we always send you guys out of here each and every single day, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. Remember, every day that you wake up, guys, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. No matter what you're going through, no matter the circumstances, we know it's a crazy world out here. But you are still blessed to wake up and see another day. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to this place. We welcome y'all to this huge family we call the RSR family. Hope you guys enjoy your time here. But y'all have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know. Bro. I'm going to give you two today. The first one is the usual. I'll go and make somebody smile. But my second one is something that I think we should strive for every day is to give ourselves some love. Some more Some love. Because the more love we give ourselves, the more love we can give the world. And that overall helps create this goal that we've been trying to reach with this channel. Facts. Go make somebody smile. We love y'all. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.